Here it is, folks. Here it is. The Bitcoin price is now officially one week removed from seeing this absolutely heinous, potentially bearish, gravestone doji candle painted on the one week time frame. Are the bulls potentially regaining momentum here? Or are we still poised for a potential bearish correction down into the low $50,000 range? Let's dive in and analyze. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. So let's not waste any time and get right down to it. We're going to keep this one short, sweet, and simple today here, folks, as there's really not too much to discuss, but what we have to discuss is important. And as you should all know, when the Don speaks, the world listens. And when the world listens, the Don speaks. So I figured I'd come on here today and shed some light on what I'm seeing inside the Bitcoin chart. Now, obviously, as I pointed out in the introduction, on the week of October 18th, 2021, we did see a potentially bearish gravestone doji candle here on the weekly. Now, this is interesting because this is the type of candle that you generally see when the market is ready for a correction. Of course, it's never perfect. There are no certainties or guarantees in trading. It's just that when you've seen green candle, green candle, green candle. And then all of a sudden you test the old all time high and see, oh, whoopsies. And the candle closes looking like this. Folks, as you should all know, this to me is an absolute warning shot fire. And right now we have seen a loss of bullish momentum. Last week's candle body close wound up right in the same general area that we saw the week prior, albeit we did see a ton of whipsaw volatility and chop over the past two weeks here. This week in particular is going to be very interesting. Right now I see the moon boys shouting from the rooftops, it's a huge bull flag Kirby, we're going to the moon. And then also from the other perspective, we can say, hey folks, is this not looking like a potential double top here after the gravestone doji signaling a potential correction back down to the area of interest for me here, which is this red box between 53,000 and 51,000. So this is the meat and potatoes that we have to discuss here. What are we seeing on the indicators? Let's take a look. I pointed this out on my last stream, so if you are not already subscribed here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Then also, make sure you hit the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and select all right now, as you cannot afford to miss any more of these important Bitcoin updates, all right? Welcome to the channel. So on my last stream, I pointed out that here, on the directional movement index, on the one day time frame, that we were possibly setting up for a bearish cross. And folks, what do you know? Ding, 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 chicken wings for dinner. It's so for if you're vegan. We did wind up getting that cross right there. And right now, things are getting interesting. And what I want to point out here on the one day chart as well is that right now we are still painting a series of consecutive lower highs and lower lows on the one day time frame. If we actually do take a trend line here and connect these, you guys can see that no matter how you draw it right now, we are still in a downward sloping channel here, right? Ping ponging off of support and resistance. And actually, when we draw like this, disregarding this top wick here, this actually does look like a broadening foghorn type of pattern. And foghorn patterns are pretty interesting because they do inherently suggest more volatility as the pattern continues to mature. Right? You could see up here it's tighter, right? less volatility because the range is tighter. But as the range begins to widen and the structure begins to widen, if it stays within the confines of these support and resistance lines, we can most likely expect more and more volatility and chop as this pattern progresses. Let's get this crypto. I've also seen Moon Boys shouting that this is some type of falling wedge, which would be bullish. Um, to me, this does not really look like a falling wedge at all. A falling wedge would look more like this, where you have price action trading down into a uh, a falling wedge. <laughs> I mean, it looks more so like this, and a break to the upside could 
signal a nice move up. Right now, with this structure the way it is, I'm not really seeing any type of falling wedge. I just wanted to point that out as I have been seeing that tossed around. So right now, the big takeaways, folks, are that we are seeing a potential double top pattern formation. Again, this doesn't have to amount to anything, right? I'm, I'm telling you that I've seen tons of crazy Bitcoin cult members just going absolutely bonkers over the fact that we could possibly be due for a correction. Um, I think there's a ton of confluence right here between 53K and 51K. It looks very similar to me. Basically, just the same as we saw down here, we had a resistance ceiling that once broken, we ripped up to the next resistance area. We then dropped, corrected, bounced off of this old resistance, turned it into support, ripped through upon second test of this resistance here. And now we've met our resistance again up here at an all time high. And now, folks, we have this area of interest here, which, if the bears are strong enough, could potentially drop us back down to before possibly building support there and seeing that area act as the launching point for a rip to a new all time high. All right. To me, this is a very realistic level headed analysis, um, right? If we do happen to just rip up to a new all time high now, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Get wrecked, Kirby. Get wrecked. You said. You said what? That we are right now seeing lower highs and lower lows on the daily? Well, that's true. We all have access to this data. That's just a one day chart. What? That we have an area of significant confluence down here between 53K and 51K that in my opinion looks very similar to this level down here between basically 42K and 39K? Yeah, that's what I said. If we do happen to see the price rip higher, well, <laughs> the analysis is going to change. And of course, folks, this is uncharted territory up here. It's way more difficult to be forecasting and analyzing what could potentially happen up here where we have no prior data rather than looking at what we do have in front of us. And that is all of this action down here. That is what this analysis is meant to provide for you is looking at the chart in front of us. If we continue to drop here, well, what does the historic price action suggest could potentially happen here? And for me, that is that we could be looking at a target range down between 53K and 51K. Let's get this crypto. Right now, folks, I am currently speculating short until we are to break out of this structure here, okay? I would personally like to see new higher highs created here on the daily time frame before I would look to you know, stop speculating short. For right now, my eyes are set on possibly testing down to this range. Does not have to happen. We could rip up. To me right now, risk mitigation is the most important thing. I'm keeping my stop losses tight. I am keeping my position sizes relatively small. And right now, that is certainly what is most important to me. Oh, let's get this crypto. I hope you are all enjoying here today, folks, as right now, it really does feel to me like we are in some euphoric state once again. And the last little dose of reality that I'd like to share with you all here is that the US dollar index, the DXY, is still looking quite strong here in my opinion. We found a bottom here in this nearly multi-decade long area of interest, okay? This starts all the way back in 2004 and you can see that the price has seen some interesting occurrences, resistance and support flipping all throughout this range into the current day. Right now, I mean, forming from this bottom back here in 2018, we are seeing a series of higher lows here on the weekly time frame. Right now, we are seeing a potential bullish W pattern, which I've been pointing out on this channel for forever in a day, it feels like at this point. And after a multi-week correction here, you can see that right now the bulls are still attempting to keep this price propped up and are trying to aggressively get back into this range here between 94 and 97 where we have seen the majority of the DXY's trading action take place ever since 2015.
And of course, this blue trend line I have here is the measured move of this potential bullish W pattern that if we are to see it break out and break the neckline roughly about right there, this could potentially see the DXY rise up into this upper channel here above a 97. So, I mean, take it for what you will. We have seen the US dollar index have a negative correlation to the Bitcoin price. Right, This downturn here back in 2017, this was the huge crypto bull market of 2017 right here. This was the bear market right here. And again, folks, starting in March of 2020, the US dollar index took a plunge again. And what do you know? This is the crypto bull market of 2021 right here. Oh, let's get this crypto. So take this information, let it sink in. Do what you will with it. Form your own opinions. I'm just putting it on your radar as I do believe it's important. So with all of that being said, I really do hope you understand how I'm seeing the charts right now. And if you are looking for an inside look at all of my personal trade setup ideas, entry ideas, potential take profit ideas, strategy ideas, everything just like that in absolute real time, as the dawn looks to potentially strike gold again, then I will see you in VIP right now after this video. That is where you get all of that exclusive content. So if you're not already in my VIP, seriously, today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's go. And folks, if you did enjoy here today, all I ask for is a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much for that. And if you're brand new, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell, and select all, as you cannot afford to miss any more of these important Bitcoin updates. Welcome to the channel. And until next time, I will see you in VIP right now after this video. Do not miss my next important real-time VIP trade setup idea and alert. Let's get this crypto. And until next time, the Don has spoken. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. Oh, and before I forget, don't fall for any of the fake Kirby accounts posting down in the comment section. They create fake accounts with a nearly identical username and logo to mine. Then they reply to your comments with phone numbers and email addresses trying to get you to contact them. You can see several examples on your screen right now. Do not contact these people. So here's how you can verify that it's my actual real account. It's very simple. When you're watching a video on my channel, my real account will always have a gray nameplate behind my name. I also have a verified check mark from YouTube. And just to make it even more obvious that it's me, I always leave a creator heart on my comments. Only the channel owner can leave a creator heart. So if you see the heart plus the gray background and the verified check mark, you know that it's me. If you don't see those things, then it's obviously a fake account. It's as simple as that. They're also creating fake accounts over on Telegram now. So if you are ready to become a VIP, do not go on Telegram and search Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP. You're going to find all fake results. My group is private. When you search that in the search bar, you're getting public results. They're all fake. They're all imposters. So if you're ready to join VIP, the only way to do so is to click the link either in the pinned comment or in the description of my video. If you search for Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP anywhere else, you're going to be getting in contact with a fake. Only use the link in either the pinned comment or the description of my official video. Stay safe and stay smart, my friends. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational and entertainment purposes and is not to be construed as a recommendation, solicitation, or an offer to buy or sell any securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, or any related financial instruments, nor should any of its content be taken as investment advice. Crypto Kirby is not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are completely speculative opinions and do not guarantee any specific result or profit. Trading and investing is extremely high risk and can result in the loss of all of your capital. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice. Crypto Kirby is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. Crypto Kirby may have an interest in securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and derivatives. Of any entities referred to in this material. Crypto Kirby accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. Crypto Kirby recommends that you consult with a license and qualified professional before making any investment or trading decisions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.